Hello everyone, it's Damien here again with the next video for the Championship Manager or 1 or 2 season that we're using Spartak Moscow for. This is uh, going to be video number 12 in the series so far. Um, so, you know, we're, we're really racking a few videos up now and we're getting on with, um, with the career and things are looking a little bit better from the last video if you've, if you've seen that one, the uh, results started picking up a little bit. So hopefully that will continue in this video. And um, I can try and uh, catch up because the games are running out now in in this in this season to try and win the league. So we'll just have to see what happens. Uh, the game's already loaded. Um, as you can see, that's where we left off in the last video. So I had, I did manage to get up to fifth place in the league. Uh, still a few points behind, as I mentioned in the last video, but it's not too bad now. I've closed the gap a little bit. Um, so a few more wins in this video, and hopefully we'll we'll close that gap even more. So let's see what how we go on with this one. Uh, as you can probably tell from. Um, from the the jumper that I'm wearing, um, the weather has taken a turn for the worse a little bit now in England, so it's uh, <laughs> starting to get a little bit colder. <laughs> uh, don't like the winter. Um, I love the sunshine and the hot weather, me. Um, but anyway, on we go. So uh, a big game, big game uh, in the Premier League tonight. Um, if at the time of watching recording this video, um, Liverpool. Um, are about to play Man City um, in the 2014-2015 season. So obviously uh, last season it was City, City, the City did win it, I think. Uh, Liverpool second. Uh, so that should be an amazing game for tonight. Uh, Monday night football. Uh, Man City against Liverpool. Interested to see how, how Liverpool get on, and uh, they've started the season quite well, I think. Uh, City started the season okay, uh, and of course Liverpool could be on the verge of signing. Balotelli, so it'll be interesting to see if he does come to Liverpool. And I believe Di Maria, Di Maria is uh, on the verge of signing for Man United as well. So um, it'll be interesting to see Di Maria. Maybe he can change Man United's fortunes because again they had a bad result against Sunderland uh, from a Man United point of view. Uh, so it's not been not been the dream start that that Van Gaal wanted, I don't think, at um, at Man United. But I'm sure. I mean, he's a good tactician. He's a good manager. I'm sure he turned it around. But anyway. Excuse me. We'll see what happens with the the, the game tonight, Man City Liverpool. I'm looking forward to watching that game and uh, seeing seeing how that turns out. So here we go. We're just uh, cycling through the the um, Champions League games. We're probably going to have uh, a UEFA game coming up. I think first of all, um, uh, is it is it next the next on Thursdays? Is it? Yeah. Here we go. So it's the UF Cup game is the first game for this video, uh, video 12 and as you can see there it was a 1-0 win in the first leg. It was a very late goal that I scored. I would have preferred to have a few more goals to take to an away leg because it's so hard um, to to win and to win a two-legged game with just a 1-0 uh, win uh, from the first leg. So we'll just see how that happens. Uh, injury there to Mark Kerr. Uh, put Maradio in and Kalstrom, swap them around. Uh, Defence, uh, let's get. Where's he gone? Uh, Mike Duff. We'll put in for Matic. And I think we'll have. Um, I think we'll leave it at that. Oh, Carlos Jacks, is he fit? Let's see if he's fit. Yes, he's fit. So we'll definitely put him in. And uh, hopefully that team will carry us through to a win. Let's see what happens. Let's go. Let's go for it. So, as I said, we are winning 1-0 from the first leg, so it's not all bad. Um, if we could maybe sneak another goal... Uh, here for the for the away goals because they do count away goals. Um, that would be ideal, really. Uh, come on, Spartak! Uh, it was a, a tough first leg, so I'm not expecting it to be an easy win at all. Um, if a win at all, so we'll just see what happens. It's looking like getting to half time. Oh, there you go. See, equalizer. So they're already level on aggregate. That's why you need more than one nil. You need more than a one nil. You really do. Uh, come on, Spartak! Don't throw it away now. Come on. Come on, we could do this. Come on, Spartak. Come on, boys, that's a chance. Put it away. Need to bury them chances. Come on. Come on. T 
that's it. Oh, that was a chance. No, what's going on? Come on, Spartak. Ah, extra time. Damn. Right, we might have to think. Uh, so let's change it up a little bit then. We'll have Monokov in for Ibrahim Saeed. Been booked, so I don't want to risk him getting sent off. And we shall give Sigalko a game for Vizilio. And let's see if that can make a difference. So come on, boys. Come on, Spartak. Come on. Chance. No. Chance. Oh, again. I've had enough chances to win this game. Come on. Unbelievable! I don't like penalties. I really do not like penalties. Uh, right, Zigalko, Madeira, Kalstrom, Jax, Miraggio. Um, let's switch him up. Let's give that penalty to Mike Duff. Yeah, yeah, let's go with that. Oh, I do not like penalties. I really don't like penalties. Um, but from a neutral point of view, it's interesting for the viewers. Uh, nice and exciting. So let's see what happens. Galco, yes. Damn. Yes. Damn. No, you donkey. Oh, I don't believe it. Yes, come on. No. Nope. Yes, give me a chance. Oh, they've done it. Unbelievable! No, I'm not happy with that. Not happy with that at all. Dumped out. Dumped out in the second round of the UEFA Cup. That is disappointing. So, that's not a great way to start the video series then for video number 12. But, like I said before, in many of these videos, they are the live videos. So, you never know what's going to happen from game to game, which makes it a little bit interesting for the viewers. Um, no, <laughs> it's not nice for me uh, when I'm losing or winning, but I prefer winning, obviously. Uh, so, alright, I'm going to have to make a lot of changes here now because of that midweek game. Um, so, I'll take off all the subs because we're going to be using them. Uh, let's have a look. It's Defender, put Matic in there. We'll put um, Monokov in there. Lovchev, Lebedkov, where does he play? He can go on right hand side. And Sigalko. And we're going to have to play Tomadira as well. Okay, put those on the bench. Let's have a look at this and switch this around a bit. A little up in behind there. Switch them two around. And yep, yeah, let's go for it. Let's try that, see what happens. So we're back into the league games now. As I said, we need oh that's a great start, it's a Galpo two minutes in. Um as I said we, we did start a, a little bit of a winning run in the league in the last video, so hopefully we can continue that to catch up that uh the teams that are just ahead of us in the league, so that's a good start. Two minutes in, one nil up. Come on Spartak, build on it. Come on boys. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on, this is too tight. I don't like these, these these games worry me. It's really, really tight. Oh, you see, there you go. You only need one goal and you're back in the game. Ah, oh, come on, Spartak. We can beat these. Come on. Come on, get a grip. Get a hold on this game. Oh, I don't believe it. Come on! What are you doing? Oh, I don't believe it. Got beat. Just when I was catching up the other teams, they're gonna go ahead now. Yeah, see, all in all in the sixties now. And I'm stuck behind on fifty two. It's too far behind, it's not good. So I have to pick things up in in this game. Definitely have to pick things up. Uh, 
um, all the reserves have won. That's a nice big win for reserves, isn't it? Maybe I should consider bringing some of these into the first team. Onizhenko. Keeper played well. Pavlov played well, defensive midfielder. Only 17 as well. Wow. Nice one. Uh, Shipkov, forward, centre, 12 in 13. I'll keep my eye on him. Wow, that was a great win for the reserves. Excellent. So yeah, a bit of a disappointing start to the video. Uh, out of the UEFA Cup. <laughs> Uh, played the first league game and lost that um, So yeah, that's not a great good start to this video um, But there's there's still quite a few games should be still quite a few games left So the minute I mean it's not it's not the end of the world at the moment. I can still catch up on points um, I think I can still catch the leaders But it's, it's just making it very very difficult um, because I'm falling too far behind each time I lose a game so Monokov we shall put in uh, who should we put in? We should have a player back now. Um, who can we put in? Oh yeah, Kuzmin, there he is. Defensive midfielder. Uh, Lovechev on the left side. So we'll swap the Maraggio. And the Bedkov on the right hand side. We put Carlos Jacks back in. One yellow card away from suspension, but I'll play him anyway. Because he is important to the team. Carlos Jacks, so let's go. Let's, let's try and improve things against the uh, Krilia Zovatov. Come on. The goal seemed to have dried up. I don't know why that is because I was scoring for fun just a couple of video videos ago. You know, we, we were scoring for fun and, and I haven't changed the formation at all since them days, so I don't know why the goals have dried up. There's a goal for Karlstrom. Um, so at least that's a good start to this game, which is encouraging. Oh, there's AV equalizer again now, so ah, come on, spy type. Oh, that's it, now they're in front. This is not good, boys. Come on, pick the game up. Come on. Oh, come on, boys. Let me down. Half time. Let's see. Uh, we need to make any changes and then call Vetsanov. Uh, switch them two around. Don't know if it'll make a difference, but let's see. Well, let's go. Let's get the second half. Come on, let's have a good start to the second half, boy. Attack. Come on, boys. You're making me look bad in front of all the viewers. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Get in there. Come on. That were a chance, and that's a chance for Matic. Yes, first goal of the season. <laughs> wow. Oh, no way. But at least he's got one, so that's good. And he's a defensive midfielder. I don't expect them to score many goals, to be honest. Rescued a point by the looks of it. Yeah, the point. It's not enough. It's disappointing. Um, dropping too many points now. It's, it's not looking good, this. No, it's not looking good at all. And I think that's, uh, I think it breaks for, I think it's a win, is it a winter break now I think, uh, the Russian league, so I might just, um, I might just wrap this video up a little bit early, um, because I don't think there is going to be anything to show, oh hang on a minute, no, that is the end of the, that is the end of the Russian season, sorry. Uh, so yeah, 30 games played, uh, Spartak Moscow, a very, very disappointing fifth, uh, that is not good, um, I'm really disappointed in that and maybe um, it was suggested um, by one of my subscribers that um, I should try a, a different formation one that they, that's worked very well for them and um, by all means you know I, I love the comments that I get I love the suggestions that you make and I will act on on suggestions coming in so I mean as I've, as I've had a disappointing season there with Spartak Moscow the tactics I've used haven't worked and what I'll do is for the next video um, I'll I'll use the tactics that were recommended by Eggman Karakaya 
Um, he said a 41212 could work well. So what I'll do is um, I'll wrap this video up early because obviously it's the finish of the season now, the Russian division. It's only going to cycle through all the other leagues now, so there's no point in doing that. So I'll wrap this video up, and then what I'll do is in the next video, which will be um, video number... Will it be video number 13? Or maybe I'll call it like season 2 or something. Or season 3. I don't know. But in the next video, anyway, what I'll do is I'll start the season with a 4 one 2 one 2 um, Seeing as it's been recommended by a subscriber. And you know, why not try it? Yeah, Obviously, what I've done hasn't worked. Because a 5th place finish is no good for Spartak Moscow. And um, it doesn't make me look good as a manager. As a reputation on the game. And it'll lessen the chances of me getting offers from other clubs if I don't increase my manager reputation. So um, I need to improve on that, definitely. So there we go. Uh, finish the season. Uh, fifth in the league. If I just go to... Let's have a look at... Just, let's just have a look at some um, season stats. Uh, let's see. Where's the best one to go? Um, let's have a look. Scoring that. Uh, awards let's have a look uh, team of the week so I've got three players in the team of the week team of the year um, I didn't get anybody uh, play with the month no award it's been made yet uh, let's have a look at my squad so let's sort by average ratings let's see which players did really well for us so Zigalko had a great season uh, Carlos Shax had a good season Big Toe had a good season Vasiliuk played well, Kerr played well, Maradjo did well, Kyotis good, Kuzmin excellent, Duff good. Um, all these all these players that are 7 or above, um, to me personally, that's a very good season. Uh, let's have a look at uh, assists. Who's the leader assist? Um, uh, tied between Kalstrom and Tomadira. Uh, so they've got 7 assists each for the season, which ain't great really. Um, but having said that, if you look at the uh, the team, a lot of the assists for the goals have come from many players in the team, and I'd rather have assists from a lot of players rather than a lot of assists from one person. Because obviously, if your your team's assisting, then if that player got injured, for instance, you'd lose all their assists. But the fact that the other teams are playing, the other players are giving assists, I'd rather I prefer to have a, a good balance across a few different players. So there's a few there, five, six, sevens, couple of threes. Um, so yeah, all in all, a decent season, but like I said, not good enough. Uh, Zagalko, top scorer, no surprise there. Uh, he's a great player. Uh, Mark Kerr did quite well, actually, uh, for a midfielder to score 11. So that's good. Uh, Vasiliuk, 11 as well. So he got 11 in 22. 50% uh, record, excellent. Uh, 20 in 29, that's fantastic from, uh, from Zagalko. That's a great return. Uh, Big Toe, 9 from 28, Mark Kerr got 11 goals from 26 games, so that's quite good as well. And uh, as I say, let's just go to the manager stats. So, reputation in Russia, uh, I'm only 12th across the managers. Uh, obviously, I, I need to be up here. <laughs> uh, that's what the board wants, that's what I want. Um, so, I'm way, way off being uh, number one manager reputation in Russia. Uh, across all nations, uh, 112th in the world, so <laughs> mm. uh, on page seven. Um, so I mean, I mean, it's not that bad, you know. I'm, at least I'm in the top ten of pages. Uh, but like I said, if you're going to get offered jobs from from other clubs around around the game, you need to be you need to be like sort of around page one, page two, um, before other other people will offer you. And you know, I, I mean, I, I I could stay with Spartak Moscow if I get another job. A job offer, you know, I'm, I probably will take it because it just makes interesting viewing, uh, just to to see how the the career with champ manager goes. And uh, yeah, if I get another offer, then yeah, why not? Why not change teams? Um, so that's all good. I think that about wraps it up. Then, uh, so yeah, we're approaching the 20 minute mark. So some disappointing results in that video. Not the best video I enjoy doing, uh, but at the same time, you know. Uh, the videos are the people want it and uh, subscribers are making comments and stuff so it's really good uh, that's it for the video and for this season um, as I said I'll take up uh, Spartak Moscow when the new season starts and I'll bring you up to speed with any players I might sign as well so um, until the next video again if you like it comment share it on the social platforms and uh, keep in touch and let me know how you're getting on so thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one cheers